And that is why Cardano, I feel, is probably going to become the biggest cryptocurrency in the world. I think it's going to become more than a cryptocurrency. I think it's going to become the backbone of a new digital nation, a new society, a place where we can finally begin to trust each other again, where we move from don't be evil to can't be evil, a place where we do our voting, a place where our money lives, a place where our digital life lives in every dimension and aspect of it. Charles Hoskinson co-founder of Input Output Global and the Cardano blockchain platform, envisions a future where Cardano surpasses Bitcoin and Ethereum to become the world's largest cryptocurrency platform. During his keynote address at the Rare Evo 2023 event in Denver, Hoskinson shared his belief that Cardano's scalability and interoperability will enable it to outperform these leading cryptocurrencies. He highlighted the limitations of Bitcoin, permanently tied to one individual's vision, and Ethereum's insufficient decentralization, which hinders it from being a leading cryptocurrency or the backbone of the emerging digital society. Hoskinson also celebrated Cardano's recent achievements, including being named the top blockchain platform in terms of development activity on GitHub. He emphasized the Mithril update, which enhances network efficiency, and Hydra, a layer 2 scaling solution that boosts transaction processing capacity. Hoskinson's vision for Cardano extends beyond cryptocurrency dominance, aiming to challenge the traditional financial system and replace it with a transparent, sustainable model that benefits all members of the digital society. This vision represents a transformative approach to finance and trust in the digital age. Please take a moment to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and don't forget to drop your comment and observations in the comment section below. Thanks and enjoy the video. Enormous amount of stuff shipped while working on governance, which is the most complicated thing I think any cryptocurrency can do, because basically you're building an on-chain government of a digital nation with 4 million people in more than 100 countries. Kind of a fun thing. Hydra shipped. Mithril shipped. Node 8.x shipped. All kinds of updates shipped. People are building. We're number one for development activity right now amongst all the cryptocurrencies. TVL grew by over 200% in a downturn. How about that? Transaction volume's up. We're at 8 million native assets. And Masari is finally writing nice stuff about us. How about that? That's what an ecosystem looks like. It's not the sudden spikes and sexy, fun bull markets and you know, cool stuff in 2021 or 2017. It's the continuous endless, relentless pursuit of perfection. Japanese call it kodawari, the relentless pursuit of perfection. That's what we do. We wake up every single day and we grind as an ecosystem. And it's hard to build. How many people are building in this room? Do you feel like you have all the funding you need, all the staff you need, all the love you need, all the media you need? No, it's hard. But you're here, and because you're here in the bad times, in the down times, means one day you get to enjoy the good times. Next year, thousands and thousands of people will be involved in the governance of Cardano across the world who have never met each other in person, yet work together closer than they would family. And that's going to unlock so many things. Money, vision, brilliance, diversity. But more importantly, it makes Cardano an institution unto itself that will be here for a very long time. You see, I'm just tired of living in a world where everybody's cynical and the institutions are broken. Nobody trusts anybody. Whenever you say something's going to happen, nobody believes it. Or they think it won't happen the way you promise. Because we've been let down. Let's be honest. You can't look to a single thing, healthcare, education. You can't look to any aspect of human endeavor or life lately without looking to something that was a bit disappointing. And every now and then, people come together and they say, you know, we could do better. We can change things. What this movement has always been about, the cryptocurrency space, for more than 10 years, and by the way, it was not about money, because when we got started back in the Bitcoin days, we didn't have any money. You know, you talk about down times, this coffee was free. I had to pay for my coffee at the first Bitcoin conference. We had no coffee. I was very angry about that. It wasn't about money, it was about philosophy, because everybody in that movement was really tired. We were just tired of being lied to. We were tired of being told we should just shut up and sit in the corner. We have no power. 
And it was inconceivable, things like $10,000 Bitcoin. It was inconceivable that governments would mention Bitcoin or talk about it. In fact, in the early days, I remember Reddit and other places, anybody, regardless of how trivial and small they were that mentioned the word Bitcoin, we'd all get really happy about it. We'd be like, oh my God, did you hear that Gary Johnson mentioned Bitcoin? They're like, wow, that's incredible. And now it's just part of the cultural milieu. Everybody understands it. You know, the show Billions, they're complaining about Solana shitcoiners. You know, you're like, wow, we've gone a very long way in less than 10 years. But what united us and kept us strong and the true people, the true philo philosophers of it, was this idea that we need to have a better way of trusting each other and working with each other. We need to have a better way of building institutions that aren't just don't be evil, but can't be evil. That was the uniting thread throughout the whole set. Recent reports from highlight impressive growth metrics for Cardano in the first half of the year. Data analysis from the website reveals that Cardano's decentralized finance ecosystem's total value lock surged to $151.69 million, marking a remarkable 209.8% increase year-to-date as of June 30, 2023. This figure has since grown further with Cardano currently boasting a TVL of $161.8 million. Alice Lethem, a crypto analyst at Bankless Times, emphasized that Cardano's TVL growth, even in a market downturn, underscores its significance in the digital asset space. She noted that this rise reflects not only the network's capabilities but also its growing adoption, showcasing how innovation can drive crypto projects forward. As Hoskinson continues his speech, he delves into the future he envisions for Cardano, one where the platform surpasses Bitcoin and Ethereum in the blockchain landscape. And Cardano is leading the entire cryptocurrency industry in this. Bitcoin and Ethereum, the other two big guys, they've recused themselves. They've said we don't want to do on-chain governance. In the case of Bitcoin, it's anarchy. Great, they can't change, which means they have to live with design decisions made by a single person more than 13 years ago and hope to God it's still relevant 10 years from now. 20 years from now, 30 years from now. There's no way to change it. Well, good luck. As for Ethereum, their founder said, on-chain governance is a fool's errand. You can't do it. You can't achieve it. Okay, so how do you deal with the fact that when you have 100 million, 200 million, 300 million, 400 million users, you have to represent them, their needs, their voice, their particular use cases? How the hell do you build a product backlog? without just making yourself king for life. Is that decentralized? Is that what we signed up for, having a beneficent leader who lives on the mountaintop? How are we any better than what we assert that we're going to replace? The only way we're going to get it done is to build an on-chain government. And why they don't do it is they're scared. Because they don't know how. There's trust issues. It's hard. How do you maintain the consistency we've all come to love and admire and enjoy? 2,100 days plus, the Cardano network has been running 24 hours a day, seven days a week by you, the stake pool operators. Never down, 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Microsoft has gone down since then. Google has gone down for 20 minutes. Amazon has gone down. Think about that trillion dollar massive corporations with hundreds of thousands of people, the best engineers, mountains of money, and they own the fucking hardware. We don't. Just a bunch of people coming together, never met each other, are running this protocol, attacked every single day. If there is a flaw in it, there's a $10 billion bounty to break it, and it's still running. That's something that's very special. And it should never be discounted. It should never be trivialized. And we can never allow other people in the cryptocurrency space to just take that for granted. It's a sacred thing. Yet somehow, some way, we're going to not only preserve and protect that, but enhance it when every single decision is now made in dozens of countries throughout the world. It's a pretty crazy idea. And that's why people are scared of decentralized governance, because they view it as something that takes away but I've never believed that because I always believe in the best in people. I believe in the best in you, and I think if you give people a chance to rise up and show you who they are and what they can do, they'll do amazing things. So that's our challenge, 
And that is why Cardano, I feel, is probably going to become the biggest cryptocurrency in the world. I think it's going to become more than a cryptocurrency. I think it's going to become the backbone of a new digital nation, a new society, a place where we can finally begin to trust each other again, where we move from don't be evil to can't be evil, a place where we do our voting, a place where our money lives, a place where our digital life lives in every dimension and aspect of it. Because we deserve that. It's 2023. We do. The world has moved on. We don't need to live in economic systems, political systems that were designed in the 18th century and 19th century. I'm sorry. The world's moved on. Expanding on his vision, Hoskinson outlines a forthcoming era for humanity characterized by genuine fairness and equality. This era, he believes, will eradicate disparities related to gender, race, or social status, promoting a society where individuals are valued for their contributions rather than their appearance. Moreover, he envisions dismantling the current trust-based system, not solely within finance but across all facets of life. In place of blind trust in rulers, politicians, and self-appointed guardians of society, Hoskinson advocates reliance on the immutable truth of blockchain technology. In Hoskinson's view, this shift will enable us to fully enjoy our inherent rights, irrespective of our backgrounds, beliefs, or opinions. He challenges us to consider our thoughts on his address and whether we can envision a future where Cardano surpasses the market caps of Bitcoin and Ethereum, which currently stand at $1.3 trillion and $570 billion, respectively. If this were to transpire, it would place the price of a single Cardano token significantly higher than its current value of $0. 26. Please share your thoughts, comments, and observations on these ideas in the comments section below. For more Daily Dose Crypto News, check out these two awesome videos on your screen. Click now and we will see you on the next video.